Moving on to envelope. So envelope can be thought of as the shape of the sound. So when you're kind of crafting these sounds, you gotta think whether you want it to be a short snappy sound or maybe a long sustained like string type sound or anything in the middle. And really envelope is what makes the difference between those timbres. So the envelope section of Alchemy is here. This with the graphic and then the controls underneath. Now, by default, it sets you envelope one, which is the envelope that is hardwired to the shape of the oscillators. You can also use envelopes for other purposes, such as mapping them to a cutoff frequency or to like a pitch rise. But for these, you use different envelopes but what I'm going to do now is just that like, use envelope one, which is built in to affect the shape of the oscillators. So you've got controls here for attack, hold, decay, sustain, and release. Attack is quite simply how long the notes takes to start. So a long attack will give a fade in. Whereas a short attack will come straight in. We also have control for holes and decay and sustain, which all kind of work together. Sustain is how long the notes will last once your hand is on the keyboard. So once your fingers are playing the notes, does it last for the whole time or will it only last for partially of the time? So a short sustain will drop and sound quite quickly, whereas a longer sustain do exactly what it says and sustain the note. Decay is how long it takes to the sound it takes to drop to that sustain stage. So I put a long sustain up there and then a short decay will go attack quickly to this setting and then down to the sustain. Whereas a longer decay will hold at that high amplitude for longer. Hold works in a very similar way, it just adds an extra stage before that decay. So I set up a sound here, let's put in quite a fast decay, but we've got this hold, which means the sound will go up to start with, hold that amplitude, drop down via this decay, sustain for as long as we have this one, and then this release stage is how long the notes takes to fade out at the end. So if you take your finger off the key and there is no release, the note will stop straight away. If you have a longer release and take your finger off the key, you get a bit of a fade out. I'm sure this hold works. So it adds a bit of a delay stage almost before it hits the rest of the envelope. Whereas the short holes will skip over that quickly. You can take it out completely just by putting it back to zero. So a couple of common envelope settings. Um, if you ever want to get back to the default, by the way, just alt click on one of these controls and it'll snap back to the default setting. So if we're looking for like say a pad sound or a string sound, I might have a long attack and a long release and a long sustain. So we're really just getting a uh, nice kind of string legato-esque sound. Fades in, holds, slowly releases off. Whereas if you want something kind of shorter and pluckier, I might have a short attack, so straight in, no sustain at all, touch or release, just stop any clicking, and then I can use the decay to really shape the sound. So for a longer pluck, you have more decay, whereas for a shorter pluck, you'd have less decay. It's quite effective when you use an arpeggiator on this. You can hear the difference more. So a longer decay, you get more of the note sounding. Short of the case, very kind of sharp and plucky. So you can really transform the sounds by using these controls. 
couple of other things worth mentioning. The settings are in seconds. So for instance, if I put this to one, it means then that it will take a whole second to phase up that attack stage. Whereas sustain is in percentage. So the percentage of the time that your finger is on the notes or the percentage of the time that the note is drawn into the MIDI to the piano roll. And then release again is a second. So you could have a sound that takes six whole seconds to release. Stop the note, but it's still going. Entire 20 seconds. Put it back to its shortest time. The final thing to mention on the envelope at this stage is that you can also draw the shape of the sound you want in. All these controls up here, these little dots, are links to each of the dials. So if I wanted to draw in a long attack instead of using the dial, I could just click this first point and just drag it out as far as I want it. You can see in the top, that says sort of 0.5 there, 0.5 seconds. We can move our hold stage, we can move our decay, which could be this one. We can move our sustain and our release. So you can use these dials for fine tuning, but if you just want to kind of get a rough idea of what the sound will look like and then how that might sound, you can just draw them in with these up here.